start by talking about this poster. So throughout this class, I'm gonna use examples of my work for instructional purposes, if I may. Um, and this one, it's important to talk about for a number of reasons that you guys have to understand. One, it's my first, you know. Um, two, I mean, we could talk about the level of simplicity in it. And actually, here, if you look here, I don't really stray that far. This is the exact same thing, drawing on a photograph, making, being the kid who, who draws the, the, the blacked out tooth and the eye patch, right? Um, we could talk about the typography. Oh, James, lovely typography. Ugh, I traced it <laughs> with a pen, you know? And it's actually the, it is actually the typeface used for a very popular greeting card company of name I'm not supposed to say <laughs> out loud. Right? Because it was, and you know why it's that typeface? And this is something that we will talk about. Because it's the wrongest typeface to use for this. You know? Something aggressive like this. You want like stencil. You want, you know, you, you print it out and you put it on the studio floor and you scuff it up a lot and then you scan it in again and you know, like that kind of stuff. I'm like, Bleh. But, so we can talk about that. It's, it's, it's surface. Or we could talk about that it is my first poster. It has no client whatsoever. There's no logos on it. There's no client whatsoever. It is my reaction to the 500th anniversary of the, the discovery of America, right? And in New York City at the time, they were planning uh, parades down Fifth Avenue, and there were big swanky parties, and there was all this, you know, hoopla. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm not an idiot, but I remember something from high school about pox-infested blankets. I'm wondering, you know, we're talking about Christopher Columbus and all this stuff, and I'm like, why didn't I go to high school with any Native Americans? Why don't I know any of them now, you know? I wanted to, I wanted to be a journalist. I wanted to put out information, the same way the newspapers were. So I designed this poster, printed this poster, and it's a full-size, 38-inch tall thing, um, 5,000 of them, paid to put them up in the street, wildly expensive for, I don't even, you know, it was like 28 at the time, had no money. Oh wait, I have money. I was gonna pay rent. So I used my rent money, right? Used my rent money, got posters put up, watched the cops come the day before Columbus Day and take them down. Just they opened up the boot of their trunk, pulled out what looked like a, a mop, but it didn't have all the frilly stuff, it just had the metal thing on it, and walk up to the posters and just like <laughs> scrape, them scrape them down, right? And I was watching this, and I didn't have the guts to kind of walk up and go, hey, uh, would you scrape down the Tommy Hilfiger poster next to it? Because it's kind of, it's offensive as well, you know? Interesting. But the story that I never told about this, because I used my rent money, I had no money for rent, right? And here I am, 20 years old, I got a teeny little studio apartment, I'm um, um, living with uh, a girlfriend at the time, or she's living with me, and every once in a while we get a knock on the door, and I'd go downstairs, and it would be a guy in a suit, and he would hand me papers, and he'd say, you are served. Eviction notices, because I had used my rent money to pay for posters, right? Eviction notices, and you know what I did? I was a jerk, I threw them away because I was embarrassed. I should have saved them. I should have saved them because four years ago I would have beautifully photographed them and put them in my book. Because you know what they were? They were the cost of my freedom. They were what it takes to do this job. And the, and the, and the risks that I am willing to, 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 to take.